soil brothers and soil sisters. All right, y'all. So today we are freeze drying sea moss gel. So making sea moss gel is a pretty long process. I mean, we buy our sea moss gel sun dried, so we have to clean it really good and um, soak it for at least 24 hours. It's easy to work with after you soak it a long period of time and blending it take a while because you want it to get smooth and not chunky or, or you know weird feeling so I have a video where I previously made sea moss gel and I'll link that video in this video so you can go and see how we make our sea moss gel in this video we're gonna share how we now store our sea moss gel freeze dry. Freeze drying your sea moss will extend the life up to a year. Um, normally, sea moss gel need to be consumed within the first three weeks. You can freeze it and save it for about three months. But freeze drying it, you can travel with it safely. You know, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Freeze drying. So, I'm going to show y'all the results of our freeze dried sea moss gel but don't forget to go back and check out the video of how we made our sea moss gel and now freeze dry all right soil fam so um i wanted to show y'all how we freeze dry our sea moss it is now complete um, I decided not to do an entire video because what I'll do is I'll link how I make my sea moss in the description. I'll um, pin it in the comments, put it in the description, and I'll link it somewhere in this video. How I make my sea moss. All I did different with this is add freeze dried bananas to it in the blender blended it all up these are freeze-dried bananas that my husband grew so I just added this to my sea moss after that process put it in the tray freeze-dried banana sea moss now this is good for shelf life up to 12 months so what we do to preserve it longer is put it in a mylar bag, of course. This one is not see-through. The good thing about being freeze-dried is we can travel with this. We won't have an issue. So, being that we do sell this, I weigh it at... Normally, we sell it 8 ounces at a time. So, and look at that. It just break just like that <laughs> so now you don't have to put this in the refrigerator or anything it is good um, it is it's good to sit on the shelf you can put it in a jar if you choose but in this mylar bag you know there's no um, sun getting through or anything so it preserves it longer so for up to 12 months in this bag is good I write um Freeze dried sea moss banana because it's banana flavor. So I want to make sure I have. Come on, thing. I want to make sure that my scale is going to give me the correct amount size. I mean, amount size. Okay, there we go. So that's eight ounces. Let me scoot it down some so you can see. That is eight ounces of freeze dried sea moss. I'm gonna put it in my bag, in my mylar bag.
and this is safe for traveling, shipping, or anything now that I have it in my bag. So, like I said, I'll write freeze dried sea moss. I'll put banana, and I'll put today's date because within a year, which you know, if you take this consistency consistently, like you should, it won't last a year. But just in case you need to travel or you just want to make some or have some to put up, we do have a, a safe stash where we put things in mylar bags. We can seal it, um, and then I'll seal it again with flat iron or with our sealer and put it in a tote. And we have sea moss for the long haul. So we'll be good to go later if we need some. So I just wanted to show you what the sea moss is like once we freeze dry it. And again, these are eight ounce portions that um that I'm bagging up. resale and see this thing got this so you can seal it but I double seal mine with the heat and then you can tear it to open it so make sure this thing is sealed good and you should be good to go so you can open it and reseal it for you know, daily use, however you want to do it. But this is a convenient way of preserving sea moss that normally only have a refrigerated life of um, three weeks or so. So freeze drying it, give it a little longer shelf life. Put all of this in there. Yep. All right, y'all. So, do you take sea moss every day, and how do you prefer it? Have you ever tried it freeze dried? I I like the um idea of freeze dried sea moss because you can um take this and sprinkle a teaspoonful or so over yogurt or ice cream or anything. Most of the time, um, sea moss doesn't have a taste. And most people will infuse it with um, aculine fruit so that it will help with the consumption. It doesn't really have a taste. It's more so of the consistency of it being thick gel-like consistency. So with this, you can take that powder and you can just take a chunk of it or and pop it in your mouth. Or you can sprinkle it on something ice cream cake yogurt choice is yours but amazing freeze dried sea moss do you take your sea moss every day we will fill in the comment section but don't forget to check i mean the content section don't forget to check out the video on how i prepare my sea moss and let's talk about it in the in the comments have you ever tried it? Freeze dried. This stuff freeze dry perfect. Just come out in one big sheet. All right. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. We love to have you. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this freeze dried banana? This is banana flavored. Sea moss gel. Absolutely amazing. Until next time, have a blessed day and don't let nobody steal your joy.